All right, so I am here. This is the first, not annual, because it won't be annual, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be more frequent than that, but it is the first pedal board duet that I am doing. It's somewhat of a confusing process to explain, as I just explained it to Mario. This is my guest today, Mario Esposito, from the band Rival Coast. Um, he also is one of the members that lives at the Sunroom and hosts a bunch of really rad shows in Tempe. Uh, but the concept today uh, I thought was simple, but I'll try and explain it very quickly. We are going to be setting tones on each other's pedal boards. So we both have pretty large, um, his is much larger, pedal boards. And we are going to take each other's guitars. I will set his tone, he will set my tone. We will come back together at the end, reveal our tones, figure out what the other person did for the other person. Ooh, that was rough. And then we will try and jam and write a short song or a short piece of music together using the tones that the other person set. All right, so we're gonna introduce the boards very quickly here. On Mario's board, we start off with a Boss Tuner going into a Walrus Audio Voyager, a Boss Blues Driver, an MXR Analog Chorus, an MXR Mini Phase 90, into an Ibanez Airplane Flanger, an Earthquaker Rainbow Machine, an Earthquaker Aftermath, an EHX Memory Man, and then finally a Line 6 DL4. I am here now messing around with Mario's board. So I know he, I've seen him play before, he's never seen me play before, so I have a slight advantage there. But I know that he likes to do like really, really like gorgeous, reverbed out, um, like really kind of angelic soundscape things. So I'm going to do the opposite of that, uh, mostly just to put him outside of his comfort zone. I'm going to do something like really dry. And, I mean, I'm almost tempted to just give him like a straight clean signal, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of the game. But I'm going to give him something really dry and weird, uh, and hopefully it'll put him in a, in a weird spot where he doesn't know quite what to do, with the goal of that being to create some weird music. Okay, so now we're totally dry. This is my starting point here. Alright. Let's see here. I'll do a delay, but a really short slap back -y kind of thing. Okay. A little too much in the mix there. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Just one single, really short, pretty dry. So on my board, I start off with a Lawrence Petros designed compressor. Shout out to Lawrence, he was my guitar teacher. Then it goes into a Crybaby Wah, an MXR 10 band EQ, the LPD Flexible Skank, 
EHX Little Big Muff, the Boss SY300, the Boss DD5, a TC Electronic Ditto, and an EHX Pitchfork. Well, all right, here I am. Um, anyway, wow, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, I'm most scared of this device right here. This guitar synthesizer. Okay. have been manipulated. You are the first to play something. Tell me what your reaction is to, to the tone I've chosen for you. Alrighty. Well, um, I noticed first off that this Line 6 DL4 is not set to its normal loop setting. It's set to like actual delay and I never use it for a delay, which is crazy. Second thing would be my rainbow machine is going to have some funky detuned pitch ac accents, I guess. Normalization. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like my tone that I got for you is kind of like relatively similar. Uh, <laughs> all about milk and ugly stuff, you know? <laughs> no, yeah, I, well, I had a feeling, because I know I've seen you play before, you've never seen me play before, no. so I kind of had an idea of what you normally do in terms of soundscape -y stuff, so I kind of wanted to go in a you know, slightly I've only direction. seen all of your other videos yes. and whatnot. Alright, I shall check. I have a feeling 
so I had a feeling that I was going to make a, a kind of a mean tone for you to do it. I yeah. mean, you were going to make this sort of like beautiful cavernous angelic thing, <laughs> and that is exactly where we ended up. That is gorgeous. Okay. All right. So let's try and write a riff. Let's see what happens. All righty. Okay. Uh, since I have slightly more like of a delayed out, almost like. I guess the attack hasn't been changed at all. But. If you want to, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Uh, I can start, I guess. It would have to, I feel like it would have to be based off of some sort of like dissonant riff because I feel like my parts are going to end up being very atonal. Yes. For the most part. I would agree. So it'll just be taking stuff from bo both extremes, man. I'm yes. telling you. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I think 
I'm thinking too note heavy, and maybe we should, I'm, I'm going to try and think more sound heavy. Let's see if we can come up with some, some other sort yeah, of Yeah, basically I'm thinking like texturally rather than like yes. melodic stuff. And that is probably, I, yes, I've seen you, yeah. Maybe I what could work that. better is if I switched loops and if I did a short loop instead of a long repetitious one. Okay. So, hold on. If I... Thank you. 